Hey guys, the objective of this video is to do an example using the buckle, buckling formula we developed in the previous video. We're going to be doing this by finding Rx and Ry, the radius of gyration, the slenderness ratio x and y, and we're going to see which one's more critical. We're then going to solve this formula to find the um, buckling stress, pi squared e on lambda squared, and then we're going to find the force, which is just going to be that stress times the area of the section to find the stress which causes the first mode of buckling. So this is our problem. We have a section which is 100 uh, deep by 50 wide. It's x and y. We call this x the strong axis and y the weak axis. That's just because we've got the longer length there. Now we're looking at the x and y axis. On the x axis, we have a pin joint and roller joint. And on the y axis, it's cantilever out. Now this, this might seem a bit weird how you can have two different setups. Um, I've drawn a little diagram here just to show you sort of what it might look like. So in the x-axis, it's pinned and roller. So this might look like this. So about the x-axis here, you can see we've got a pin. So that's pin jointed, bolted. And also you can see that there's some type of roller or some type of su vertical support there. Okay, so this can still rotate in the x-axis. It can rotate outwards by my ruler bending like that. Okay, so we have a pin joint and a roller joint. The y-axis is cantilever, so the, uh, about the y-axis here, it's welded there and welded there, and it's free to rotate. Um, it's free to move there and there. There's nothing restraining it in that plane, i.e., going that way. So you can see uh, um, about the y-axis, it's a cantilever, because this would um, provide um, x, y, and rotational restraint. So that's sort of what it might look like, just to put that picture into a bit of uh, perspective for you. So. E is 200,000, FY is 300 MPa. We're going to be doing this problem such that L, so this L, is 5 meters or 0.5 meters. Okay, so we're going to do 5 meters first. So the first thing we need to find is Rx and Ry. So we're going to be doing this. So part 1 is for L equaling 5 meters. So we need to find Rx. Rx is going to be the square root of Ix on A and Ry is equal to the square root of IY